Hey, yeah, what's up? This is Disciple Martial Occurrence Rain back up in this anti Illuminati all day, anti America all day. Everybody with him. <laughs> all right, so this message, like I told y'all, it's going to be a campaign. Campaign on uh, 40 states that allows children to have sex. It's going to be a campaign. I'm hitting that all the way to, to midnight, beyond midnight. I'm going to be, it's going 10, 20 years. Okay. This is the problem. Like some people say, well, kids can have sex at 16 to 17. Right. And that's what it is. Okay. But let's look at the time. Let's look at time for a minute. Okay, so 16, the age of consent for sex. What's the difference between 16 and 24 months earlier is what a lot of people are going to say. So 24 months earlier would be 14. What's really the difference? This is what people are going to say. Same thing with uh, 17 in New York. You don't have a problem with new, a 17-year-old having sex. But you have a problem with someone that's 24 months younger. You have a problem with somebody that's 24 months younger. Explain that to me. So what's really the difference? Okay, someone 17 can have sex, but 15, 224 months earlier, before that, that's unforgivable. How unforgivable is 24 months? Okay, meaning if she's 15, she got to wait 24 months. How much of a real difference is there in that situation? It's not too much of a difference. So while you're raving and ripping and raving about 15 year olds having sex, 24 months later, they can do the same thing. And you're cool with that. I'm just showing you. Okay. 36 months would be for a 16-year-old, 13. So 36 months. Is that really a long time? I mean, let's look at it for what it is. 36 months from, from 16. So you're okay with someone doing it, a 13-year-old having sex 36 months later. I'm showing you how it's real. This is real. The days, if I broke it down to days, which I'm going to do that too, it looks even worse. 600 and some, 700, 700 and some days. Okay? For someone that's 16. Okay? Someone that's 14, not being able to have sex. They got to wait 700 some days and they'll be able to have sex in some places in the country. 700 some days. What is that really? 800 days. What is that really? What's really 800 days? That's real. 800 days a, a, a child can have sex from what, 14? Yeah. For 14, they can wait 800 days and have sex in America. I'm trying to show you. I'm trying to show you how it's not too much of a difference. Okay. Same thing with somebody in New York. No, I don't want my 15-year-old having sex. But 1,800 days, 
1,800 plus days, they can have sex, whether you like it or not. So a 15-year-old right now can have sex in 18 to 800, 800 plus days. Why are you sitting up acting like John Wayne for the kids? <laughs> Why are you sitting around like a Texas Rangers, like you're Chuck, like you Chuck Norris? Fifteen-year-olds can have sex in eighteen hundred plus days here in New York City. Boom. <laughs> Why are you trying to be Chuck Norris and grow your beard out? <laughs> Grow that beard out yet? <laughs> oh, boy. You make me laugh, man. You know what I'm saying? Because you're the same people that sit up and witch hunt people, right? And, and, and a 15-year-old in New York can have sex in 1,800 plus days. Less than 1,000 days, they can have sex. John Wayne? You John Wayne character, you? Yeah, that's all for all you Texas Rangers. You need to check yourself. Check your country, man. Okay? You need to take a look around, cowboy. Your country allows 40 states to have sex with children. You better wake up, cowboy. It ain't the country you thought it was. Why are you growing your beard out trying to look like Chuck Norris? Before it's too late. Before it's all white. 40 states allows children to have sex in America. Okay? And you would be surprised at those ages that they're allowed to have sex. Those children are allowed to have sex. You would be surprised at the ages that are 1,800 plus days before those days that they're allowed to have sex. So if you go back 1,800 plus days, you'll find out ages, you'll see ages like 15 and 14. You will see 15 and 14, less than 1,000 days before the age of consent. 14 and 15 in America is the days, is the ages Less than a thousand days from the age of consent. So the ages of consent, <clears throat> if you go back a thousand, less than a thousand days for the age that all the kids are allowed to have sex, if you go back a thousand, less than a thousand days, the ages you will find around the country are 15 and 14. For most of them, because the, the ages are 16 and 17. So if you go back less than a thousand days, those same kids are 14 and 15. So what's really the difference less than a thousand days ago? What was really the difference from a thousand days ago? Less than a thousand days ago. What was really the difference? It's not too much of a real difference, bro. I'm, on, I'm, I'm, try, I'm trying to show you. And we can keep going on and on. And you would just be like, oh, man, I really never seen it like that. Because you're not thinking. But you claim to be about that life. You claim to be Chuck Norris. You claim to be the greatest Texan, Texan ranger that ever lived, but yet you don't know 40 states allows children to have sex, buddy. Look like you, you look like you need some galloping. You need to do some galloping towards Washington, D.C., buddy. You need to get your horse prepared to go to the White House. You need to get your best hat, your best cowboy hat, buff it down, buffer it down, clean it off real good, get the funk out the hat, and head to the White House. Because this is the facts. 
Well, you got people straight up witch hunting people and playing games with people's lives. You got kids that are 14 and 15, and in less than a thousand days, they'll be having sex. Less than a thousand days around the country, 14 and 15 year old kids will be listening to R. Kelly and whatever else they want to listen to having sex. It ain't nothing you can do about it. So while you're watching reruns of uh, Texas Ranger with, so with Chuck Norris on it, while you're, while you're watching reruns of that, and you're sitting there thinking you're the baddest cowboy that ever lived, 40 states allows children to have sex in your country. Cowboy? Boom. Okay? See, see how it works out. Your military didn't tell you this. Your favorite president, Donald Trump, didn't tell you this. Yeah. Someone you would consider a delinquent. Someone you would consider a savage. Someone that you would consider just a thug is the one that done told you about your own country that you are so patriotic about. You're such a patriot for, patriot for America and you don't know that 40 states allows children to have sex and all these 14 and 15 year old kids are gonna be having sex, especially with their knowledge these days. They're gonna be, they, they themselves are gonna be taking advantage of these laws too, by the way, and be having sex less than a thousand days from now. And it ain't much you can do about it, Jack. Ain't much you can do about it, Chuck. Ain't much you can do about it, Chuck. Not when the laws are set that way. Not when they got the laws in place for these 14 to 15 year old girls to be having sex in, in, in less than a thousand days. Okay? They're gonna be doing all the nastiest stuff you could think about. I got, I, I got, this is where I gotta get graphic. Okay? All the nastiest, all the nasty stuff you could think about. 415 days, I mean 14 and 15 year olds, less than a thousand days from now, less than a thousand days from now, 14 and 15 year olds are gonna be doing the nastiest things that you could imagine. They're gonna be doing everything. 16, 17 year old girls right now all across the country and 40 states can have all anal sex right now. I gotta be honest. Right now, right now in real time, Texas Ranger, I gotta tell you the truth. Is it my fault? Are you mad at me? Or I'm, because I'm telling you the reality. I thought you was a Texas Ranger. I thought you was a cowboy. You should be tough enough to hear this, cowboy. 40 states allows children to have anal sex. Mm -hmm. 14 and 15 year old girls, less than a thousand days from now. Hear me, hear me good now. All the children that are 14 and 15 year old now, all the, all the kids, all the females, that's 14 years old, hear me good. 15 year old, those two ages, 14 to 15. In less than a thousand days from New Year's Eve, they can have anal sex if they want to by law with an adult. And if that ain't good enough for you, if you don't wanna wait for a thousand days, Less than 800 plus days. You don't want to wait for that. Well, let's talk about right now. Let's talk about right now. What can happen right now? Not those anticipating it. Let's talk about not these pedophiles licking their lips waiting for them. Let's talk about right now. 
16 to 17 year old girls can have anal sex in 40 states in America right now. 40 states allows children to have sex, right? 40 states, 40 states in America allows children to have sex, right? So in 40 states, those children can have anal sex right now with a fully grown man. Right now, 16, 17 year old girls can have anal sex right now with an adult man in America in 40 states. You should be you should be angry. You should be angry. Especially especially when they plan with you. And you in six in in, in, in 40 states. 40 states. That's a four and a zero in case my accent is throwing you off. 40. 40 states. Four, zero, 40. What comes after 39? 40. Okay? 40 states allows children to have anal sex right now with fully grown men. A fully grown man can lick on the vagina of a 16 to 17 year old girl right now in 40 states in America. A 55, a 60 year old, a 70 year old man can lick on the vagina of a 16 or 17 year old girl in America in 40 states, whether 16 or 17. Whichever age it is that it gives consent. What is whichever age it is they, they give consent for? 16 or 17. 40 states. It's either 16 or 17. 16 or 17 years old. So in all of those 40 states, there's still children. And in those 40 states where their children are allowed to have sex with grown men. 70 year old men can lick on the vaginas of children in 40 states. They can lick on the vaginas in the anus of your 16 to 17 year old child. And you don't think they're doing it. It's your worst nightmare realized. It's the worst nightmare for parents. How bad it can it get? Would it need to be 10? This is your worst nightmare. Right when they're blooming, they're being destroyed and licked on by fully grown men. That's your worst nightmare. That's what you dream. That's what you have nightmares about at night. Some old guy being with your girl, your daughter, the six, the sweet 16. Licking on her vagina. Having anal sex with her. I have to give you the raw images because you're acting like you don't get it. Okay? You act like you crazy. Who's really crazy here? You act like you crazy. When 40 states allows your the children to get their vaginas licked on by fully grown men and women. Can you imagine what the women are doing? Can you imagine what these lesbian women are doing to your, your little girls? You're not thinking. I know you want to get mad at me, but you're not thinking. I got to take it all the way there. I know it's a campaign. I got to do what I got to do. It's a tough job. It's a dirty job, but I got to do it. Okay? I got to give you all the scenarios so that you understand the reality. Because you're just blocking it out. Yes, you are. You're blocking it out. You're trying not to think about it as much as you possibly can. As much as you humanly can, you're trying not to think about it. Well, I'm not going to let you do that. I'm going to make you think about it. Because it's the reality. You got some 50-year-old woman somewhere in America 
licking on a, a, a child's vagina that's 16 or 17 right now. When they have 40 states that allows children to have sex, you telling me there's no little girl that's getting her vagina and anus licked on. She's licking both. The vagina and the anus of a 16 or 17 year old girl because this woman knows that America allows children to have sex in 40 states. She knows this law in her state and in, in abroad and where she's at. And it, is, and it is okay by law in America. And she's licking on the toes of this girl. She's licking the vagina. She's lucky, licking on her, her, her undeveloped breast. Why are you saying you love America? Oh, I got to get more graphic. I know, I know. I know. At least I'm not cussing. <laughs> you got some gay old man I gotta take it there I gotta use every scenario I can't just act like it's the, the straight people because see that's what happened people some people will say well you're just acting like it's, you know well, okay I'm gonna cover it all then okay you got these old guys that's 55, gay guys, that's having sex with a 17-year-old boy licking his anus. By law, he's able to do it. In 40, 40s, now who will be with this? Any of you will be with this? Ain't nothing you can do about it. You mad at me or you mad at the truth? I'm showing you the truth and you can't handle it. You can't handle the truth. <laughs> I couldn't help. I, I couldn't resist. But a 55 year old gay man, because he's able to do it in his, let's say in his state, the age of consent is 16. It's one of them 16 year old states where the age of consent is 16 years old. So he can go find a boy that's 16 years old. Okay? And lick his vagina, lick his anus, put his penis in the anus, lick his testicles, make a 16-year-old boy almost not even done with high school, make him suck on his 70 55 year old penis and ejaculate in the mouth of a 16 year old boy by law he's able to do that now do you accept that do you accept that now all these realities the old woman licking on the vagina of a 16 year old girl you accept some old woman 70 years old Licking on a 16 year old girl's vagina. Your laws allow it. Your laws allow it. You, you, you think it's cool for a 70 year old woman to lick on the anus, to put her tongue in the anus of a, a, 16, a 17 year old girl? Hmm? I gotta torture you with the truth of this. You don't get it. You're like the bushwhack dad, like I told you, the alcoholic bushwhack dad. Oh well, she must, she she she's almost there. That's about the time I started getting out there. And they're just licking and eating your children like ice cream cones, and you didn't even know it. Doing the most disgusting things. Allowing a 16-year-old girl to pee on, pee on the old woman. Doing golden showers. I got to tell you this because some of y'all out of touch. 
even drinking the young girl's urine. 16, 17 years old, getting her urine drinked by a 17 year old crazy woman. Some girls let, are allowed to defecate on a man, taking dumps on a man. He's getting off on a, a 17 year old girl taking a dump on him. And your country allows all of that because the age of consent allows all of that. Being at 16 and 17. And you say, God bless America. That's for all your military people. You know, some 70 year old woman could be licking on the vagina of your 16 year old kid while you're overseas doing a tour. She's getting turned out while you over, over there trying to get FaceTime with her. You don't know where she's at. She's over some, some woman's house getting her toes sucked. Yeah. It's a hard job. I got to do it, though. It's a hard job. Because you, 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 you still don't believe it. You st as perverted as this country is, you still don't believe somebody's taking advantage of those laws. You got to be kidding me. You just don't see it. And as naive as you are, you think it's not happening. You don't even think about it because you don't see it. Like some old man in a recliner. You're like some old dad in a recliner that just sits there. That's how you treat your country.